Hello and welcome back everyone. We now have confirmed details of this upcoming collaboration and we will take a closer look at what we know about specifications and functionality and of course we'll talk about price and availability. First and foremost I am quite happy that Swatch and Blankpound went with this particular model of 50 fathoms. I think it is one of the most popular ones and personally is my favorite. Also as I mentioned in my previous video we have five models out of which two are more vintage inspired and related to the Arctic and Antarctic oceans and three are based on more modern designs and relate to other three oceans. So let's focus on what is similar across all the five models first and then take a more detailed look into the differences between the vintage and modern models. So the dimensions. We have 42.3 mm diameter, case height is 14.4 mm and lug to lug distance is 48 mm. These are really good dimensions as I mentioned in my previous video. The 50 fathoms is a 45 mm diameter watch, which might take it out of the comfort zone if you have a wrist slimmer than 6.5 inches. So looks like Swatch and Blankpan managed to reduce the dimensions ever so slightly, which will make this watch very versatile. Especially the 48 mm lock to lock distance is a very compact measurement and should work on the wrists from around 6 inches and up. Case is sculpted in a 50 fathom style. Did I mention it is one of my favorites? Material is of course bioceramic. What is interesting is that apparently it is all new bioceramic colors, which are different from already produced colors so far. Is that swatch way of saying that, okay, we now fix the color bleed issue and we can take this watch to water without fear that the skin on our wrist will turn the same color as the watch. Okay, it is a great news then, but we'll of course will need to test it and confirm. We also have drilled lugs. It is great. Also, it looks like the spring bar holes are metal coated, so this should last. We also have signed crown and we have a see-through back case and decorated movement. Now, not your usual decoration, but a laser print of a colorful slugs called Nudebranks. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. And each model decorate with a Nudebrank native to the particular ocean that the watch is actually named after. And we have a very practical 91 meters or 300 feet water resistance, which coincidentally is equal to 50 fathoms. So we have not just great looking timepiece, but also a very practical one. This level of water resistance at very least should be suitable for swimming. Movement. Well, another great news. Well, how many times did I say great in this video? As we expected, we get a mechanical movement here, System 51 to be precise. Now, System 51 was introduced by Swatch Group about 10 years ago during Basel Wall 2013. It is an automatic mechanical movement and it is built out of 51 pieces, hence the name. And it is built by machines, which allows for this to be such a budget-friendly caliber. And for all intents and purposes, it is actually not as large, but any stretch of imagination. And it does have some solid specs. It has a very impressive power reserve of 90 hours, which is more than three days. It beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour and it has a very high claimed accuracy of minus 5 to plus 15 seconds per day. Is this backed up by a practical use? Well, I'm not sure and I will of course need to buy one of these watches myself and find out. But on the paper at least, these specifications blow out of the water most of the movements up to $2,000 price category. Bezel. Well, we have 120 clicks unidirectional bezel, which is another unexpected surprise. But that's not all. It is also loomed like a bezel on the original blank pen 50 fathoms diver. And the bezel is also covered by a scratch resistant material, which we will talk about in a moment. And according to Houdinki presenter, who had already hands on with this watch, the bezel action is pretty decent too, which is definitely encouraging. Now, if we look at the straps, what we have here is something that looks like nylon NATO style strap and those are made from recycled fishing nets. The straps patterns and colors are coordinated with each watch model and visually look really good. And I'm quite pleased to report that we also got branded buckle and branded keepers on this strap. Crystal. Well, some very interesting design decisions here. The scratch resistant crystal material that is covering the dial is also used on the bezel, which should enhance the bezel's scratch resistance, which is great. 
Now Blank Palm and Swatch call this bias-sourced scratch-resistant material. Well, this sounds like a mineral glass to me. I heard some speculations that this is a sapphire and that we even get a sapphire sandwich here. That is, the see-through back case is also made out of sapphire. But personally, I have strong doubts about it. So we'll have to wait and see until we get a hands-on with the swatch. Looking at the dial now, we have applied our markers, which together with the swatch style hands are filled with loom. We have color-matched date window, a good attention to details from blank pond and swatch designers here. Hence, lengths are pretty much perfect, looks great. We've got gradient kind of fume style dial background, which also looks really nice. Now, the differences. Well, the differences in these watches are, of course, in colors and in the dial details. Looking at the Arctic and Antarctic Ocean models that meant to have more vintage vibe, we can see that there is no date on these watches. And we have saturation indicator on the Antarctic Ocean model and no radiation indicator on the Arctic one. I have a very strong suspicion that these indicators are decorative only and not functional. Not that I would expect them to be. Another difference to more modern 50 Fathoms inspired models are the hour indices and the blank pen logo. So we have applied a rectangular and circular hour markers on Arctic and Antarctic models, as well as vintage blank pen logo. While on the other three models we have applied triangles and applied Arabic numerals for our indices and of course the modern blank pen logo. And we of course need to talk about the price. The price will be set somewhere around $400, which will most likely translate to about 320 or maybe 330 British pounds or around 380-ish euros. Personally, I think while this is a bit on the high side for Swatch, it does make sense on this collaboration timepiece. So, looks like Swatch and Blank Pen actually nailed this one too. Or did they? Well, to let us know in the comments. Back to my point that I raised in my last video. Is this new collaboration going to sink or will it be as crazy popular as Moon Swatch? Well, after seeing all the details, I think the Swatch group addressed most of the issues that we had with the Moon Swatch. This definitely now looks more like a real timepiece than a plastic toy. So, is it gonna be as popular as Moon Swatch? Well, even though the Blank Pen 50 Fathoms does not have the fame of a mega speedmaster Moon Swatch, I think these new watches will still fly off the shelves. And yes, will definitely help to spread the word about the Blank Pen brand and their icon 50 Fathoms Diver. Now, let's talk about availability. And this is one thing that Swatch actually didn't fix about this release. Unless they really don't consider this as a problem, but rather as a feature, which actually enables all this crazy hype. So, what do we have confirmed so far? Well, these watches will not be available online. And this will not be limited edition either, so some good news here. And based on the Moon Swatch experience, we might predict the dynamics of the market. That if you can't get this watch immediately, you will eventually should be able to, once the initial hype is somewhat comes down. So if you can wait for a few months or weeks, then yes, be a bit patient and don't pay those ridiculous premiums to flippers. So looks like we will need to be queuing in physical Swatch stores. My favorite Swatch London boutique has the big yellow case already delivered it as was confirmed by one of my secret agents who even was allowed to take a snap of the case by friendly Swatch store staff. So the launch is on Saturday the 9th of September and I might even see you there. Good luck! Don't forget to subscribe and if I don't see you in the store I will definitely see you in the next video.